guys, welcome back. Uh, Fight Troll comes in a couple of different versions. This is the one that we can easily get in Australia, the Flood Flow Troll. And this one is more of a European brand, Oa Troll, Easy Flow. So a similar products. This one is a thicker consistency. I have previously done pours with just flow troll and paint. When I started pouring, I just used flow troll. Uh, and then I gradually progressed through to glue. But today I've got, I'm gonna try this. I think I've got about eight of these that I imported from Europe about a year ago um, because everyone said how wonderful it was because it was a thicker consistency to the flow troll I was using. So I went out and bought some. Haven't really had much of a chance to play with it so let's do that today i have mixed my paints um i'll show you the consistency these are montmartre's uh, um, studio acrylics and i've mixed them three parts over troll flow troll two one part paint i'm in the shadow i'm sorry i've got the light behind me but it leaves a little mound so it's the same consistency that i would normally pour with Actually, maybe it's a touch thicker. But because it's flow troll, it doesn't have any glue in it to bind itself. I'm going to leave it like that. So that's it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five colours. I've got phthalo blue, pale turquoise, peach, navy, and white. So as I said, all the Montmartre paints. The navy that I've got here is phthalo blue with a touch of black. And the turquoise here is turquoise with some white to lighten it. And on the end is just the, the phthalo blue. I don't know, I'll show you. Actually, I'll show you. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I don't know that you can see it. Can you see the surface? It kind of looks like it's got oil on the surface. Floetrol is a paint conditioner, so... My way of thinking is it actually has kind of an oil in it. You probably couldn't see that, but I can see it. Just like a film of oil over the top of the paints. And that's not my silicone. It's got its own oil. So Floetrol will create cells on its own, whether you want them or not. They're not particularly good cells. They're more of a lacing type of a thing. But um, yeah, it's because the paint, it's a paint conditioner, it's got kind of an oil in it, some kind of an oily conditioner, like you would have for your hair, I guess. Um, so there you go. Now I'm going to do two flip cups. So let's layer these. Maybe two layers, maybe three layers, not sure. We'll see what happens. See how much paint I've got left. And I think I'm probably only going to get to two layers. Because these are pretty big cups. So by the time I've done a wriggle over the top layer like that, I've only really got half left. So I did 90 grams of the flow troll and 30 grams of paint. That is three ounces of oak. Of um, the Owa Troll Flow Troll and one ounce of Montmartre paint, three to one. I didn't have, I didn't add any water. I just wanted to see how it would go on its own. It's thicker than what I would use for my, you know, my pouring medium. I've got a little bit left, so that's why my pouring medium is a one to one basis. But because I'm using it basically just straight from the bottle it is thicker because my pouring medium my homemade pouring medium has got water in it um, but as I said I just want to use this straight for those of you that can get over troll flow troll you might be interested in how the pour goes I haven't done this yet um, this is the first time I'm doing it so we shall see the results together and I do like my my blues you know that and I love the blues with the aqua with the touch of peach so 
that's where this color scheme comes in I know it's a beautiful color scheme I know it works you know some colors you just don't put together like, you know don't put red and yellow and purple and <laughs> blue together try not to mix your, your primaries do one color and maybe a pop of another color but try not to mix too many different colors you generally don't get a good result you just end up with mud whereas you know dark blue and light blue are going to make a nice blue so just think about what colors um, may be created when you add your colors so that's why you, you tend to pick you know all blues or all greens or greens and blues colors that you know are going to work together it's my little bit of advice for you new painters purples and pinks um, purples and turquoises look nice together yeah just gotta be careful of some colors together they just don't work finish this off got a little bit left so I'm just going to do two flip cups here and see what happens because I've got 600 grams of mixed paint I couldn't just do one big flip cup it's my cup's not big enough so I've had to split it into two so I'll do two flip cups and I'm keen to see what it's going to do very keen to see hmm yep not <laughs> not the best but hey not everyone can get glue or wants to work with glue so I'm not expecting amazing cells like I would get from my home made pouring medium you know, it's taken me a couple of years to to work that pouring medium out um, as I said I did start with flow troll and quickly moved away because the flow troll just doesn't hold my nice round cells the way I want them to but hey that's okay I'm just gonna experiment here um, Okay, so just flip over and you can see straight away all those cells that pop up from the, the flow troll. It's quite thin actually, I could probably have gone two to one maybe. Hmm. Um, so yeah, if you're using flow troll, <laughs> And you flip over and you've got your cells already without torching. It's, it's why. It's because uh, Floetrol has got its own oil in it. Um, and the cells, um, yeah, they're okay. You know, if you're starting pouring and, and um, you're having trouble with your cells, then go for Floetrol. But if you're a more experienced pourer and you're really looking for a particular type of look, that you want your cells to be you want them nice and round and crisp and clean then uh, you really do need to add the glue to hold your cells in place but for the sake of this experiment there's a fly go away fly why do you always have to bother me when i'm trying to film hmm? all the time okay so there you go <laughs> didn't need to torch that at all did I I will torch it just to see what else will happen I think I could probably get away with um, two to one I might try that next actually because see it, it's a little bit muddy um, and when I flipped the cup it did spread quite a lot so um, yeah first little experiment that's three to one so I'll go again same colors and I'll do two to one and see what happens but let's just give this a torch because it's got the silicone oil in there and the torch is what's going to bring the silicone oil up to the surface so it will bring up little round cells with any luck <laughs> those first cells that just popped up I call them scales dragon scales Um, yeah, for people that have never got cells, uh, if you've got yourself some blood troll, you will automatically get cells. So, there you go. Not my type of cell, but hey, that's what Flow Troll does. And I just wanted to show you 
what the difference is you know, if you're just using Floetrol or whether you're using um, my glue and water mix. So let's come down and I will go again. I'll mix up some more paint. I will make it two to one. Actually, when I started mixing it, I started with one to one and I thought, oh, that's way too thick. And I made it two to one and I thought, oh, it's still too thick. Huge mound. So I made it three to one. But in hindsight, um, I think the two to one would have been better. So I won't do a new video. I'll just pause this. I'll mix up some paint and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now, so take this guy off and pop him over here onto a piece of baking paper, grease proof, grease proof paper. And I'll put our next card down and we are ready to go again. So, got more paint. Let's pop them in the same order as we had them before. I think that was it. Was it? Yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> okay, and pop in the treadmill silicone oil. So now I've got two to one, 80 grams of the Floetrol to 40 grams of paint. So that's 120 grams. I do one drop per 30 grams or one drop per ounce. So that would be four drops in each. I won't do the white. Hey, because the, the white is the opaque. There may well be other opaque colors in here, but I don't know. It doesn't say on the bottle, on the Montmartre bottle, what they are. So give them a stir. So they are thicker. I can feel that they are a bit thicker. This one's a little bit thinner than that one, but they're relatively the same. I'll climb up and show you the size of the mound this time around. Oh, it still feels a little bit thin. Um, I'm just going to give him a little bit of a blob of paint. I mixed him up earlier and when I was making my one-to-one -one ratio and then I added more uh, flow trial because I had to go to a two to one and he's a bit out of whack his consistency so I'll just add another little blob of paint for him okay right oh you wanted to see the consistency didn't you so thicker this time round Certainly thicker. I'll show you on this blue one, the turquoise one. Whoops, are you going to focus? Focus on my finger. No? I don't know if it's focusing or not. Might be having a bit of trouble. Are you going to focus? Hello. Oh, can't get it to focus. Um, all right. Anyway, it leaves a decent sized mound on a mound. I think I'll just stick with the two layers. Pretty much did do two layers last time. I just had a little bit of the blue left over for some reason. Um, Okay, might as well do the same. Oh no, I just don't want those two next to each other. No, but then I've got that next to the white. No, it doesn't matter. Being indecisive now, aren't I? Back to the navy. Actually, this does feel more like what I would pour with when I'm doing my flip cups. You see how it's staying in its lines there? It's not just covering the surface, melding in. Actually, 
actually add a little bit more of that. I won't use it all. My paint order just arrived about 10 minutes ago, just as well I wasn't videoing. Ordered some more Montmartre paints and some more canvases. So that's over there. I really don't like the way they, they package their paints. Each bottle of paint is individually boxed and inside the box, each bottle has got um, polystyrene around it. So it's a bit of an overkill. I really don't like it. It's a pain having to unpack it. And I've got to get rid of so many cardboard boxes and I've got to get rid of all the polystyrene. I just don't understand why they, why they do that. It's such a lot of wastage. Oh well. It is what it is. They're not going to change for me, are they? <laughs> it's just a pain having to get rid of all the packaging. Pretty thick, isn't it? Let's hope we get a better result this time. We will, we will get a better result. It's a, it's not still going to be the same as, you know, my glue and water mix. I very much doubt that, but uh, we shall see what we get with a thicker mix. Hopefully, once I flip the cups over, we won't get as many scales. I'm still expecting the scales, but hopefully we won't get a huge rush of them like we did last time. And because the colours are thicker, hopefully they'll stay more separate and not kind of blend. They have got a little bit muddy last time. Once I've done it, I'll bring the other one over and show you the difference. Look at me. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Little cells again in there, but yeah, they're not good. They're not good, clear, bright cells. But all right, let's do this. <laughs> Doesn't look a lot different, does it? Oh dear. Got more white in that one. That's pretty. So you can see the cells that popped up, well, they're not cells, they're the scales. They're better, like they're better than what they were the first time around. So let's get to moving this paint. Try not to lose all that white, but mm, not gonna happen. Let's go down here next, seeing the weight of the paint's already down here. It's doing the same thing. See how it's scaling rather than selling? We get these scales. I'll just put my finger under there so you can see where the edge of the card is. Um, yeah, it's not a lot different, really, uh, considering it's thicker. All right, let's torch it and see what happens, if anything. You know, because I've mixed up paint, gone to the trouble of doing a poor video and not getting a good result. So I kind of feel cheated by this, but I did want to show you what Floetrol or Owatrol does. And, uh, you know, as I said, some people may be really happy with this type of look. Uh, 
it's not not for me this is what I used to get when I started three years ago and I just thought wow I've got cells I was so excited you know and then as I progressed I wanted the round multicolored beautifully shaped individual cells not all bumping into each other like that so that led me on my journey to um, create a new pouring medium so that's where the glue and water mix came from so and not a lot of difference I guess I wonder what one to one would do I'm not going to do it though I've wasted enough paint so that's the three to one and that's the two to one it is a little bit clearer you know, not as muddy so it has made a difference three to one two to one but yeah just not my thing but I thought I would show it to you. Now let me get you down for a close up. Oh, like, I'll show you both of them. But you know, if you just want something easy um, and you just want to play with some paint, you don't want to have to worry about ratios, glue, water, whatever, just grab some Floetrol, mix it either two to one or one to one depending on how thick your paint is obviously if you've got quite a thin paint uh, you'll have to do one to one but if you've got like an impasto paint uh, which is more like a Liquitex basics type of consistency uh, more of a two to one so there you go scales not necessarily round cells more like scales but so uh, yeah hopefully you've learned something from that little video and that's the first one and then oh, sorry that second one and that's the first one there not a lot of difference righto I'll leave it at that <laughs> and um I do want to do an experiment coming up where I test silicone oil versus um, hair serum, coconut milk hair serum. So I'll do a side by side test on those two products and we can see which one works better. All right, thanks for watching again. I'll see you all real soon. Bye for now.